Welcome to a uh, first video of a performance-based question for the Security Plus 701 exam. And I'm pretty excited to be back making PBQs. I saw a similar PBQ for CompTIA and I kind of changed it and learned a lot. So we're going to be looking at hash signing, specifically SHA-256 hash signing. So what does that mean, hash? And what does that mean to sign? Let's take a look at the picture here. So we're going to have some sort of data that could be sent and some sort of data that can be received. Okay. Um, keep in mind that hashing is one way. You only can do it one way and get one result. So we're going to have two set of keys, a private key that can give you a hash result and a public key that can decrypt the signature to get the hash result. So have a good visualization of this in your head before we start the PBQ. Okay, um, and then let's look at this hashing function here. So if I put a password or a word or something that I want, um, let's put my key, and you will get a SHA-256 hash as a result. And that's my name as SHA-256. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay, keep in mind that this signing and hash function, um, this will verify the authenticity and integrity. Can the confidentiality be compromised? Eh. But when I think of the CIA triad and what I need to learn, then I think of those things. So um, yeah, let's get into it. I modified it to make it a little bit more fun. Like I said, try to visualize that picture that we just saw. We saw data being sent and received. We saw a public key, a private key. We see a one-way hash function to prove that the message is the same or not. Okay, so let's take a look here. Um, we've got Mario, okay, and he's going to take his plain text word. He's going to use a hash function and he's going to get a hash text. Here we go. That's his plain text password, and that's his hash. Um, so Mario is then, after he does this, what is he going to do? Um, how is he going to get this hash, essentially? Is he going to sign it with his private key, Peach's public key, his own public key, or verify the message with his private key? Um, and then... From that, he's going to create what? A digital signature, a signed hash, a signed message, or a verified message. Um, so first off the bat, I'm just going to say that you're not verifying yet because that's at the end. We're starting to do this. It's the first step. It's number one. So just from that, um, on the left side of that infographic, we had the message being created and being sent. Do you remember what kind of key that was? Well, it would be the person's key. So whose key is it? It's Mario's key. Um, so his key, right? So we're not going to be using Peach's key. So is it his public key or is it private key? Do you remember? Well, only Mario has this. It's his private key, his own. So we're going to say that it's his private key. What is he creating here with this hash function and this hash text? Is it a digital signature? Is it the hash itself? Is it the signed message? Okay, we already eliminated number four. So what is he getting here when he sends these messages out to someone? Well, like I said, this is about signing signatures, proving who you are, and is this message the same? Is it unaltered or not? Okay, so we're going to go with signature because that's what SHA-256 is all about signing in signatures. Okay, next, number two. Next, Mario attaches the da, 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 to the original message to send to Peach. What is he attaching now? Digital signature, the private key and public key, or the signed message? Can we eliminate any things here? Well, um, hmm, when we attach things to messages, 
are we including keys with them? No, like the key that's doing the encryption or the algorithm itself aren't going to be attached, but um, the signature is. Okay, we'll eliminate that. Moving on to number three. Peach verifies the received da -da -da using da -da -da, resulting in the hash of the message. Okay, so that's the hash that we got. Can we compare it to here? Does it look the same or does it look different? Real life problem. I thought it was kind of a fun one. Okay, um, so she verifies the what received. What did she just receive? What did Mario just send? What did we say in number two? What did he just send to her? He sent a digital signature. Like I said earlier, we're not sending keys. We use them to do cryptographic functions, but we don't really send them openly like that. Um, the encrypted message is kind of just to throw you off. Really, we want to focus on signing here. Okay, using what? Well, we already used Mario's private key. What other kind of key can we use to verify this digital signature? One that Peach has. What kind of key does Peach have? Peach has her own keys. That's pretty obvious. But she didn't make this message, so... That doesn't matter. Who made the message? Mario did. Mario made this message. But she would never have a private key because that's private. But she would have a public key for Mario to verify the authenticity. So the answer there is Mario's public key. Okay, number four. Peach then performs a comparison of the received hash with her computed hash and finds her computed hash is. Okay, and then we see the hash down here. Now take a moment to go back and look. Is the computed hash using Mario's public key the same as the key, or sorry, the signing that he used with his own private key? Is the digital signature the same or is it different? Okay, and the last one. Therefore, can Peach confirm the message integrity? Does this message have integrity or has it been altered? Well, the hash is not the same. It begins with 6-1, but the original one should be 5-9. So the answer is no. This hash has been compromised. That's why you see a Bowser face and Bowser is very evil. Well, I hope that you learned something new today. I hope that you can kind of visualize signing more and you kind of visualize the hashing function. And you will definitely need to know these kind of concepts. Digital signatures with private public keys. Have data been altered? How can you verify that? Can you perform a function to get the hash that was the same when it was sending as it was received? So those kinds of things you'll need to know on your exam. Do you feel more confident today or do you feel like you learned something new? Either way, I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching and good luck on your exam.